guys, I hope you are all well. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a little review. I bought this product because we have tiles everywhere downstairs in our house. And I've actually heard a lot of people say that they would love to try one of these out, but as they're a little bit pricey, they were kind of put off by buying it and then trying it in case it wasn't that good. So I thought I would do the trialing for you and give you an honest answer and review of this product to let you know if I think it is worth the money. So this is what I am reviewing today. It is the Aircraft Power Glide Floor Cleaner. So this is basically a mop. It's an electric mop that has two round heads on it that rotate round and round. So it's almost like a buffer mop. Firstly, I wanted to say what I love about this is the fact it's cordless. It has a battery that is rechargeable. And once you put it all together, I'm gonna to do an unboxing in a minute, but once you put it all together and charge it up, the battery lasts for about 20 minutes, which is the perfect amount of time, I think, to kind of probably do about 40 meters squared of flooring if you want to clean it and then buff it. But if you don't want to do the buffing afterwards, or if you want to do the cleaning and buffing together, then it will obviously do a lot more flooring for you. But in my little review and when I show you me cleaning the floor, I am cleaning it and then I am buffing it afterwards. So here it is all open and put together, but let me quickly just take you back to the beginning of this video where I show me unboxing it and I'll talk you through what you will get with your purchase. So this Aircraft Power Glide Cleaner, like I said, is a cordless rechargeable hard floor cleaner. It cleans and polishes and buffs online in the about section when you look at it. It says that is highly effective on wooden floors, tiles, LVT, vinyl, laminate, and natural stone, slate, marble, and granite. So as you can see, it comes in a nice compact little box. And when you open that up, you will see that you get four of each cleaning pads. You also get the main body with the rotating circles of the cleaner and you get a handle plus a long arm, which is extendable to suit any height as well. Like I said, this is battery operated. So it comes with a battery pack and a plug for you to plug it into the wall and charge it up with. On the handle, it does take batteries. It takes two AAA batteries. But what I thought was quite good, because when I opened this up and put it together and it said, now insert the batteries, I was like, oh no, I don't have any AAA batteries. So I opened up the back of the handle and there were two already in there. They are covered in plastic, so you just need to remove them, then remove the plastic and pop them back in there. But I thought that was quite a nice little extra because lots of times when you buy items, they do not come with the right batteries and it means that you can't use it straight away. And if you like me and a little bit impatient, you want to get using this as soon as it comes through your door. So like I said, it is 220 pounds. So it is a little pricey, especially when you can get a normal spray mop for 15 pounds. We have had spray mops for quite a while now and I did buy a 15 pound one, but it just broke quite easily. We then stepped our budget up a little bit. We bought a 25 pound by leader spray mop and that is still going to date. However, we do find that it leaves a couple of streaks on the floors, which we're not that happy about, which is why we wanted to try out this glide mop. So as you can see, it's got a very, very big head, which means it's going to cover a very big surface area when it does clean. Like I showed you, it has got two little um, mop heads that you kind of just stick on with Velcro. And then once you finish with them, you can just pop them in to your washing machine. And I just put them on a hot sort of 60 wash along with any towels or cleaning cloths that I have in my home. And the pads do come up really nicely. So what I want to do now is I want to take you back to when we first got this mop and I want to show you what we thought. First impressions. I'm gonna show you our floor because the reason I actually wanted to try this mop is because our floor, when you sort of walk into the house, we've got the big doors at the back of our home, which let in lots of light. And then that way you can see lots of marks that are left on the floor. It just looks a little bit dusty and dirty on the floors, um, unless we have just cleaned. So I wanted to try this mop out because I thought the buffing might be really, really good on our tiles. Right, with all that said, let's take this video back and I'll show you how we got on when we first started using this. I'll show you what our floor looked like at the beginning and then I'm gonna take you through me using it, Chris using it and let you know our thoughts. Right, I wanted to show you guys our floor. So I don't think I can really capture exactly what I'm trying to show you on camera here. But um, we've got tiles, obviously, and then 
because people walk around with bare feet and the dog comes in and things like that, we just get marks on our tiles. Once it's been mopped, the marks do go, but we're trying to like buff our tiles up a little bit and that's why we wanted to try this kind of like buffing device. So I'm really trying to get a before here, but it's not really working. But anyway, it is now charged up and I am going to start cleaning. So these are the two different um, sort of padded heads that you get. This is just a cleaning one and this is a cleaning and buffing head. I feel like this looks a little bit like something you'd put your powder on with. <laughs> quite big pads and because obviously you get two of them they will cover quite a large area when you are cleaning which is good and then like I said if you want to you can then go over the same patch with these ones or you can just start off with these depends how dirty your floor is we're going to go pink and then we're going to go blue let's get cleaning right so here goes first of all i am going to fill this up with water i don't actually think i mentioned this in the intro but this is a spray mop too so here i am filling up with just water but this can be filled up with floor cleaner too they do suggest you using like five mil of floor cleaner to the capacity of the aircraft once you filled it up with floor cleaner all that's left to do is turn it on it has an on button at the top but it also has an on button on the bottom bit that you can press with your foot as well for ease i just wanted to show you how easy it is to get little stubborn kind of marks off your floor this is a dried up bit of mud that obviously the kids or lulu have brought in when they've come in from outside i just sprayed a little bit of the water over the top of the area and then as you can see once the power glide it just glides over it and the cleaning pads rotate on the area it is gone so easily the power glide also has a light on the front of it which I think is quite good for if you wanted to use it when it was a bit darker or just to kind of look under sofas or bits and bobs like that obviously I'm using this in the daytime so you can't really notice the light is on but I do feel like it would come in handy at other times of the day. The aircraft power glide has got some weight to it, but most of the weight is actually in the head. So when you are holding the power glide up, it feels really, really light. And as it just glides over the surface of the hard floor itself, it's really, really easy and lightweight to use. Right, so these are my cleaning pads after going round all of this area here. And I've also gone behind the island there and down through here. So I haven't actually even gone that far before they look like this. And we do actually mop quite often in here. So what I have done now is I have changed the pads over to the blue ones. So these pads are for cleaning and buffing. So if I look at my floor, it looks a million times better, but I wanna see if the buffer can make them look even better. Chris is having a go. What do you think so far? It's effortless, isn't it? I find sometimes when I'm mopping the floor with our other spray mop, you have to like kind of really push on it and my arm gets sore quite quickly. But with this one, it's, it does what it says. It's a glide mop. So it literally does just glide. It does what it says on the tin. Yeah, it does what it says on the tin. It glides across the floor and it's relatively quiet, don't you think? I think that's actually really quiet. I thought it was actually going to be quite loud, but that isn't at all. The battery lasts about 20 minutes, so same sort of time as a sort of Dyson vacuum. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed so far, guys. But I am going to use it for a few more days and let you guys know what our final outcome is. It definitely takes a bit longer than if you were to just mop normally. But because it's quite effortless, it doesn't really matter. This is the pads, this is the buffing pads. So it's still picked up a bit of dirt. Um, but that's just obviously gone over the same, the same part of the flooring as these pink ones had. Right, I am back. So I thought I would give you a little roundup of what we think about the aircraft power glide. So first impressions, we were really quite impressed. It is pricey, however, if it's going to last a long time, then you have to sort of take into account the price per use, I think. So obviously for us, this is probably like at least a four or five times a week device that we will be using. Next of all, I wanted to let you know how easy it was to just glide around the home. I don't know if you guys have got a steam mop or a spray mop, but I do find that after a while, my arms get really achy because I'm 
pushing hard. That's probably why I actually broke <laughs> the first one we got. But I am pushing to kind of get the marks off the floor. Whereas with this one, you literally do not need to push at all. The mop heads do the work for you. And because they're rotating round and round, there are never any marks left on the floor. One disadvantage that I did think was when I used the pink pads, which were the cleaning pads, I then looked at the floor afterwards and I could notice sort of round circles that were left on the floor. Whether that's because I needed to change the heads sort of more frequently than I did, I'm not sure. But then when I went back over the same area with the buffer, those circles did go. But if you're just planning on using the pink heads, then I do feel that you will be a little bit disappointed with the end result of your floor because it will have the circle marks. And obviously that is what we are trying to get rid of. We just want a nice, clean, no streaked floor. All in all though, I am really pleased with this product. I'd probably give it like eight out of 10. The price is something that I would take one mark off for, but then I know you can't get any sort of decent cleaning equipment, especially electric, without spending money on it. The next thing I would take the one point off with is the fact that it does leave the circles if you're just gonna be using the pink pads. Other than that though, we have been so impressed with the Power Glide and we would definitely recommend it. Maybe it'll go into, I don't know, some Black Friday sales or spring sale, autumn sale, anything like that. So keep your eye on it. I really hope you guys have found this review useful. If there's any other products that you are thinking to buy but you don't wanna quite commit to the spend before you do and you want to have an honest review I would love for you to comment down below in my comment section let me know what product it is and then hopefully I can do a review on it because I do want to start doing more of these videos because I always like to watch review videos of items that I'm thinking of buying so if you have enjoyed this give me a thumbs up so I know you have and let me know what you'd like me to review next thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys again next time bye